Hello, and welcome to I Am... Let's get over here. Alright. Three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to IamJoshKnox.com, the internet's number one resource for Josh Knox-related content. Looking at finance and operations today and the project structure in finance and operations, I want to do a quick walkthrough of the relationship between project contracts and projects, sub-projects and activities. Look at how they, they blend together. And there's something in the project contract that I think is, is missing. There's something in the, that user experience that I think should be there that's not. I want to point that out and then also show a way that, that we can work around that. So I'm, I'm looking at a project right now. And you can see in this project hierarchy, I have uh, a project set up here. I have sub projects. I have a sub project of a sub project, a sub sub project, right? You have the ability to, to click through all of these. And you can see that all of these are tied to the same project contract. So if we think about what's happening in finance and operations, the way that these, these structures work is we have a project contract is your you know, your header, that's the highest level that, that you can have. And every project is, every customer facing project is going to be associated to some project contract. You might have internal projects or just time projects that aren't related to a project contract. But the project contract itself, right, if we click in here, is really a concept designed to, oh, let me get my head out of the way, I'll put me up here. Hey, I'm up here. Um, the concept of a project contract is to associate one or more customers, right? The, the funding sources, associate the, the, the customers with the, the project or projects that are related to a contract. So you have one, one project contract, multiple projects can be associated to that, that contract. Then underneath a project contract, you can have multiple sub projects. Maybe you, for the purpose of, of breaking down the project into different, different ways, maybe those different sub projects have, are part of different project groups because you need to post revenue to, to different accounts or you need to recognize revenue in different ways. That's something that you can use with sub projects and, and you have this sort of you know, unlimited rusted, Russian nesting doll situation where you can create a, a sub project of your main project and then a sub sub project all the way down. And then even within a sub project, you have a work breakdown structure that allows you to break down what's happening in that sub project even more. So in a work breakdown structure, I can create activities and sub activities, which allows me to more granularly, uh, you know, let's say, forecast you know how different parts of my project are going to take place i can do resourcing from within the the work breakdown structure on on the given activities etc all of those are options uh, so the, the hierarchy as we were talking about goes i have a, a project contract underneath my project contract i might have one or many projects each of those projects can have you know one or multiple sub projects and then under each of those sub projects, each one of those can have its own work breakdown structure, its own set of activities for you know, the, the micromanaging of the project. And I'm sure a project manager probably doesn't like that term to say this is the, the micromanaging level, but you can get very, very granular if, if you want. Uh, so one thing that, that I feel is missing in, in the product is that when I look at a certain project contract, I don't have an easy link to see all of the different projects that are associated with this contract. Uh, you know, going in from the project form, I can see you know, this, this project is related to this contract. And you can see that all of these sub projects happen to be related to the, the same contract, but you don't, it's, uh, you know, I can look at this, this higher level project and see all of the sub projects that are associated to it. I can click into a specific sub project and I can see all the activities that are associated to that. It feels like you should be able to, from that project contract, see all the projects that are associated to that. Uh, you don't have that in that project contract form. It's a bit of a bummer, uh, but one thing that you can do is create a custom view on the all projects form and get something that's similar to that. 
So I'm going to hit Escape here, come back to the main projects menu, and you can see that in the main projects list page, I can see all of my projects. I can see the, the contract ID is, is visible here. So what I'm simply going to do is I want to move contract ID to the, to the far left, just for, for clarity. I can do that. You see these four dots. I have the ability to click on this and drag on it to easily bring contract ID to the, the far left. And then I can use the, the grouping feature And this allows me to, it's kind of like we've just built a pivot table of project contracts. And, and I can see this is my project contract. I have visibility in the project contract. And then I can see all of the different projects that are associated with that project contract. I have the ability in show levels, right? We move from show all at the top to show all, or sorry, just showing the top level projects to show all. Let me group by this again. And you can see that those subcontract, those sub projects that I had that were also linked to this contract are, are visible here. So that's, that's nice. And having, having made this, I could save this view and call it the, oh, let's get my head out of the way again. Move me down here. Oh, I'm down here call this the project contract group. group view. So now I have the ability of alternating between the standard view, which is just let's look at my projects. And if I'm interested in, in project contracts and how they're, how projects are grouped to those project contracts, I can switch over to that view and see this. And I still have the the filtering capability, if I wanted to see, you know, show me all the projects that contain project contracts that contain 001, we can filter for that, etc. So it's a, it's a small tip, but a way to get better visibility into that structure between project contracts, projects, sub projects and activity. Uh, let me know if you like this video like and subscribe and do all the YouTube things. Uh, if there's something specific within activities or, or project subproject structures that you're interested in, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try and put together another video and, and answer that for you. Well, that's, that's all for today. Thank you for visiting. I am joshnox.com. Bye.